But first tonight, Melbourne's West hasn't seen anything like it in decades. It's been 55 years since the Bulldogs played in a grand final and more than 60 years since they won their one and only flag in 1954. And as Karen Percy reports, fans are hoping their patience will pay off next Saturday. It's been decades in the making and fans were thrilled. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to my whole family. It's been several generations of following the Western Bulldogs and growing up around the Footscray Football Club. So it's, it's a real emotional connection. Their beloved Bulldogs have a place in the grand final and the history books. At 65, longtime fan Susan Silk never thought she'd see this day. I couldn't be more proud. It's made my day, it's made my year. Well, I've been supporting this wonderful club for 60 years and I know there's many others who have been doing what I've been doing, but we've never given up, we've hung in there and I'm just so happy for all our supporters. Local business owner Jason James has waited 45 years. Wrapped. Been up in the seventh, losing preliminary finals, so sick of losing preliminary finals, it's just great to get to the big dance. He and store manager Ian Messig have given their West Footscray business a spring sprucing up. I reckon they've got the heart to do it. They've definitely got the drive. Um, Sydney are a bit bigger and scarier than they are, but having said that, that hasn't stopped them all year, so I reckon they've got a really good shot at it. In nearby Seddon, Bulldogs flags have been flying out of Gemma Markoski's store. We've sold out of flags, hopefully getting more tomorrow. Um, we've got a waiting list of people wanting more. Um, balloon orders, face paint, you name it, anything red, white and blue people are grabbing. By keeping a Victorian team in Premiership contention, the Bulldogs have brought footy fans of all stripes together. My, my husband and my children are all bulldogs, so I have to get on board and, um, yeah, otherwise the cats are out, so I'm, I'm full, full into the bulldogs this week. Go doggy! Fans large and small, two-legged and more, are hoping that by this time next week, the underdog will be top dog. Karen Percy, ABC News, Melbourne.